for this demonstration, I'm going to use my brand new Santini Black Diamond fountain pen. Uh, it has a extra fine 18 karat gold nib. And I just love the detail that Santini puts into their pens. The discrete key design is really beautifully deep. I think it's actually from a lost wax casting method. Um, and another nice thing about Santini pens is that they make their own nibs in-house. I have this thing filled with my trusty Yamabuto ink, which is the only ink I use, not because I think it's the best, but because a certain lazy factor in me doesn't want to have to worry about completely washing out of the ink before I put more ink into it. I'm just going to make a quick capital S for Santini and then do a bird, uh, sorry, pen flourish, not a bird flourish. So here we go, capital S. Capital S, and now for the pen flourish. This will be a quill pen flourish, which I've basically uh, shown you in other videos I've made. And so the first thing is going to be throwing the stroke across the page like this in an arc, like that. I'm gonna come back toward the bottom here and pop in my detail for the lower portion of the quill, like this. And just double that line to make it a three-dimensional effect. I'll now come up to the top portion of this and then draw in the actual feather portion like this. And then finish it off with a quick loop flourish like that. And that's my Santini black diamond pen. I really like the pen. It's uh, beautifully heavy. It's also a bigger pen than most people realize. I've actually put a size comparison up on Facebook and I'll try and include that image in here. Believe it or not, it's longer than the Mont Blanc 149, about the same girth. Thank you.